Hey, I'm back at the lake again this week. Hopefully, I'll do better than next week. Uh, last week, last week was uh, pretty dismal. Very few finds, uh, despite the uh, really hot weather we've been having. Um, it's it, weather's been okay lately. It's not been too hot, um, but we're gonna try with some different settings. Um, so I've got uh, got black sand off, and I've got uh, salinity lower at 25. Tracking's off, frequency's 18 kilohertz, and um, threshold negative two, and disc still at negative 30, a lot of iron in this lake. Sensitivity's at seven until I get into the deep sand. And um, I haven't ground balanced yet, but uh, when I do, I'll probably offset it by 20 points. Let's see how we go here. And it's uh, it's going from high, high to low tone, um, but it's generally around mid 20s. I'm not seeing very much, not really seeing any iron wrap around. Let's check it out. Junker ring. Uh, looks like we're off to a good start at least. And it was deep. It was two scoops. So, you know, it was probably at least eight, nine, maybe 10 inches. So, all right, let's keep going, man. And here's another similar target. It's uh, going from the mid 20s. No, it's generally pretty much in the mid 20s. Seeing a little bit of iron there. Let's check it okay. out. Okay. Looks like we got ourselves a gold earring here. See it there in the bottom. Nice. All right. Got some, sorry, I'm gonna keep getting out of the shot. Um, it's got some weight to it too, man. Very nice, all right. What a change from last week. We're on the board. All right, let's keep going. Okay, we got a uh, mid to high tone uh, mixed signal again, right in the same spot where I just found the earring. Mm, this one's kind of deep, 10, 10 inches. Let's see if we checking can find the it. Scoop, I'm checking the scoop and here it is. Um, this little uh, brass washer. So I've been chasing that for a couple uh, couple times around. Um, must have fell out through the back because it ain't gonna go through these small ones. So, all right, I'm sticking in this area, man. I'm telling you, there's some, there's some a lot of stuff in here. I don't know what it is, but this one particular spot, I found a lot of, found a couple, I'm finding earrings in it. It's kind of strange. Uh, so I'm gonna stay in this area a while. All right, so I got a loop on the uh, gold earring and uh, yeah, 585. So I guess it's 14 karat. So uh, that made it worthwhile hunting today. So it's got some nice stones in it and um, weighs a half a gram and um it was probably about at least six inches deep down there with the gravel and i honestly don't know if it was clasped or unclasped i'm thinking it was clasped um so anyway uh glad i uh, got the coil over this little beauty here Yep, there it is. Probably just lost this weekend. 2001. All right. So far, so good. All right, here's a, uh, here's a signal worth investigating. It's, it's going from 25 down to 17. Consistent, no iron. Let's check it out. Okay, I barely found this one. Some kind of uh, uh, cap to something. Um, I don't know, maybe a, no idea. But uh, looks like it had a coat of paint on it, but maybe it's a head to a rivet or something. Anyway, okay. At least I points here. Been real slow going like last week. Man, if I didn't find that gold ring or that gold earring I'd 
practically probably hang it up by now. Hey, it looks Hold like on. it's Ah, yes. Another quarter. This one's been in here for a while. Uh, let's check and okay. see. Looks like we got some more down there. Hold on. Yeah, got some more coins down there. Hold on. Ah, uh, there it is. Dying. All right. Check one more time. Okay, looks like we got a deep coin here. Probably a quarter. Eh, about seven, eight inches. Hold right. it. The one with the tree on the back. Okay. Okay, I want to show you something that I really hate. <laughs> Can you see it? That's a 22 long right there. It's a 22 slug. And it's like, man, these things are so hard to get. I mean, they fall through the scoop just like that. Right through those holes. <laughs> but uh, I usually uh, find the... Uh, cartridges and those are those are still difficult to find like they slip through the back hole but not the bottom hole so anyway well All they right, got it's it. very slow going out here must have been some people hitting this pretty hard over the weekend but I got a deep signal here it's bouncing between um, it's in the uh, pull tab range so let's see what it is feeling it's junk and I can tell by the sound it's kind of rapid fire not really um, like a, uh, a good round target or gold target mm. some kind of uh, yeah. some kind of eyelet to something somebody's shorts or something all right we'll keep going <laughs> okay check this out See it? Right, right there. It's a 22 short. The other one was a 22 long. I can't, it's the first time I've ever been able to trap one of these in my scoop. Yeah. I know Joe, Joe Beach Nut. <laughs> I should be using a sifter, but I just, there's just too many people out here right now. But, um, Anyway, I don't even know if my sifter could have stopped this. No, I don't know. It wouldn't have. It'll get a, it'll get the, the casing, but not the, uh, the, the bullet itself. So uh, it's going on two o'clock, man. Not finding much, but I'll give it another hour. See what happens. Okay. Looks like we got a woman's uh, hair uh, thing. Okay, I'm, I'm back in the uh, shallow area and I got a, got a, I got a pull tab uh, range target here. Let's check it out. All right, check it out. <laughs> got a bullet, a whole bullet, still in its case and everything. Well, that was an easy one to find. <laughs> Okay, I think I got another quarter here. Here's a good uh, pull tab range signal. It's hitting hard. It's a few inches deep. The sand's not that deep here, so uh, I can only sink so far anyhow. Hold on, let's see. Okay. Looks like I got me one of those uh, tungsten rings again. 
Mackinac City, Michigan. Dang it. It almost looks silver, but it's not heavy enough to be silver. It doesn't even feel that heavy for tungsten. I don't know what the heck it is. I'll look at it later. Coins here. Right on the surface, too. Hold on. Another quarter. That somebody lost. All right. Got, got a high tone here going from 17 to mid 20s. Let's see what it is. Oh. Okay. Looks like uh, found a little earring stud. I don't know what it's made out of, probably just costume junk. All right, so let's do the wrap up. That's about five and a half hours uh, hunting. And here's what I got. It's very slim pickings, even with the, uh, the junk. Um, got a bunch of lead, <laughs> which uh, uh, two uh, 22 shorts and a 22 long. That's the first time I found one in the, in the casing. Uh, some glass. Whenever I find glass, I always take it with me. I don't want anyone to step on it. And just, you know, this was one of the last pieces of junk I found. Actually, I think it was the last target. Piece of uh, uh, decomposed uh, something. Um, that's about all the junk. And then um, buck 25 and quarters and a dime. So buck 35 and clad. And. Um, this uh, Mackinac City, I haven't been there in a while. It's about 300 miles north of here. And uh, I don't know what this thing's made of. It's not heavy. It almost seems like it's uh, aluminum, but I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, costume. And uh, so we got at least one gold. Five eight five. And it's got some nice stones. Um, so I mean that was nice. So, but anyway, happy about the gold. That made it all worthwhile. So, but that's about it. Um, if you like the video, please like it and and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And check out the uh, Tosachi uh, uh, website. There's a lot of good stuff going on there from a lot of people. Uh, got some guys over the UK now, all over the country. And um, we'll see you next time. This is Aaron, out.